So one thing I've always struggled with has been how to assign the stereochemistry of the molecule given it could be arranged in any way on a piece of paper. The way that most textbooks teach you is to take your molecule, like shown here, and to then twist and turn the molecule into these sorts of configurations and then turn from one to two to three position. This has never seemed very intuitive to me and I've always found it to be relatively difficult to understand and apply in all cases. So starting from stereochemistry, we know that these two molecules here, which are mirror images of each other, are two different enantiomers. Okay? So somehow we must be able to define one of these as R, one of these as S. When you have a model, it's very easy to build the model of a molecule. For instance, the molecule shown here, build it and then turn the model in your hand to the right configuration. However, this can be very hard to visualize when, for instance, the lowest priority atom, in this case I'll be using the convention that blue is priority one, green is priority two, red is priority three, and white is priority four. It's very difficult to do when the lowest priority group is, for instance, along the plane of the page, like this H here. I'll be showing you a method for which you can always apply using simply your hands here. One of these hands will be the S enantiomer, one of these hands will define the R enantiomer. So, the way to resolve this issue of defining stereochemistry in a consistent way is to simply take your hand, for instance, let's try to define the stereochemistry of this molecule here. Remember that the blue is a priority one, green is priority two, red is priority three, and white is priority four. What you do is you define your thumb along the lowest priority group. And then what you do is you close your hand inwards, starting from the priority one group to the priority two group and ending on the priority three group. We can see that this molecule here, if we use our left hand, we go from one to two to three that defines that this would be the S enantiomer. If your left hand pointing your thumb along the um, highest priority group first, closing to priority two, closing to priority three, um, if your left hand defines that motion, closing your hand inwards, it's the S enantiomer. If I try to do it with my right hand, I line my thumb up along the lowest priority group but if I close in, I start at 1, I go to 3, and then to 2. So that's not going to work. Okay. So for instance, let's say we want to define the stereochemistry of this molecule here. Hydrogen is the lowest priority group. Okay. Chlorine is the highest priority group. Oxygen is the second highest priority group. And the methyl group is the third highest priority group. So what we need to do is we can either build our model, okay, and line it up. We would see that, for instance, this one here, okay, hydrogen lining up here, oxygen out of the page, that's our priority two group, chlorine into the page, our lowest priority group. So what we can do is we can line our thumb up along the lowest priority group and go from one to two to three, so this molecule here would be the R enantiomer. Okay, so other things, for instance, that can be very challenging in this course are defining the stereochemistry in rings. That can be quite challenging, and picking out meso compounds. There's some other examples of things which I think are relatively challenging within this topic. So hopefully that helps, and I look forward to the rest of your videos. Thank you.